On top of cramps, crankiness, having to work while feeling blah and bloated. Many women including myself also experience an increased appetite. I don't know about you, but before, the cravings were so strong I couldn't focus until I indulged. When you hear food as king, it really is true, but it's the type of foods we eat. That can be contributing to our hardship during that time of the month. Wondering what they are? All the things we have on cheat days like wings, nachos, lattes, ice cream, dot you know. All the stuff we love, but shouldn't have often. I'm sure you've read many blog posts on how to lessen these annoying symptoms. Many list foods that we should be eating if we're leading a healthy lifestyle all the time. Maybe you do eat leafy greens, enjoy dark chocolate fresh grapefruit on a regular basis, but I don't. Dark chocolate tastes like dirt, I must have had it as a kid to know this, and grapefruit is just tart. I do love spinach and broccoli so I have that going for myself. I think we're all working on becoming our better selves. But when you're recommended to do a complete 360 on your eating habits for a few days with food you hardly eat. It becomes impossible to combat the monthly symptoms without taking medication just dealing with it. A little over a year ago, I stopped taking birth control because of all the crazy side effects. Since, I've been looking into more natural things to regulate. My cycle and hormones with food and natural supplements. I no longer deal with the crazy acne, mood swings. I am rarely bloated before, during my cycle. If I didn't track my cycle on two apps. I honestly wouldn't know when mother nature was arriving because I hardly have any pre-cycle symptoms. Below, I am going to list normal foods that you probably enjoy on a daily basis. All you need to do is increase having them during that time of the month. Water. We should be drinking at least 64 ounces some doctors recommend drinking half of our body weight every day. Increasing your water intake during this time helps you release some of the fluid our body retains. Vitamins. Many of the cravings we have are due to a deficit that we are not providing to our bodies. Find a multivitamin and take it daily. In addition to taking a multivitamin. I also take DIM, it helps with acne horrible side effect of PCOS5-HTP, this helps with emotional eating. Yogurt. Yogurt has many great benefits it's high in protein, low cal and yummy. It is also a great source of calcium which can help minimize cramps. Are you living a non-dairy lifestyle? Broccoli, kale and almonds are also great sources of calcium. Bananas. Not only are bananas sweet, but they pack a high amount of fiber to keep you fuller longer. Ever wondered why bananas are always shown in pictures on the side of breakfasts? Because of this. In addition, the high potassium. Magnesium in bananas help decrease muscle cramps especially after strenuous workouts bloating. Breast tenderness and in some cases, it has also helped with cravings. Alternatively, avocados are also a great source of potassium. Popcorn. If you are okay with unsalted popcorn, have some. Popcorn boosts the production of serotonin. Serotonin is known for contributing towards your mood, appetite, sleep, memory and sexual desire. Now, you know what to eat when you binge watch your next series on Netflix. Chamomile tea. You can find many articles on the benefits of chamomile tea, but for the purpose of this post. Chamomile tea can be used to help you relax in the evening for a restful sleep reducing menstrual cramps. This is the only thing from the list I have not tried during my cycle I will give it a try next month. Salmon. Salmon is so versatile I had to list it. Studies believe that the omega-3 fatty acids found in salmon can soothe inflammation and discomfort. Not interested in cooking? Canned salmon offer the same benefits. 